everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Roxy and I'm glad to meet you again. Today I will show you how to make this very beautiful, simple and easy cardigan. This cardigan can be adapted to any size and in the video I will give you all information that you have need. The yarn that I use it's Nako Paris Bebe. Each skein has 100 grams and 175 meters. So every skein don't have many meters. And in my case, I use 13 skein for the 40s cardigan. It's a lot, but uh, it's very nice yarn and it's your choice how type of yarn you want to use. If you are a beginner and you want to use the same yarn, my advice is to not use it because it's not easy to work with this type of yarn. Use the mohair yarn and the cardigan will look very beautiful. The crochet that I use is 3.5 mm. The producer recommend the crochet number 3, but I don't I don't like it how uh, we look the cardigan, so I work with the crochet number 3.5 mm. If you like my work, please subscribe to my channel and let's begin. So, the beauty of this cardigan is due uh, to the yarn that I use, okay? Because I use very simple stitch, only double crochet. And as you can see, I finish the back part. Um, for the back part, you begin to chain so many stitch you want until you obtain the length because even if uh, look if you work horizontal we turn the work to vertical okay but i will explain in my case i chain uh, 100 and uh, 51 stitch and I have 80, 82 centimeter. Okay, so it is a little long cardigan, but it's your choice how many stitch you want to make. And look how soft, very, very soft and very nice. See? And after you chain so many stitch you need, skip to one, two, into the third, insert the crochet and make double crochet into the next double crochet and double crochet in every stitch until you finish the row okay I will finish the row and then I will show you how to continue. I finish the first row with double crochet in every stitch. Now chain two is count as one double crochet. Turn your work and now you continue to make double crochet in every stitch. This is the stitch that you use 
और द कार्तिका बिकॉज द यार इट्स वेरी ब्यूटिफुल एंड वेन यू यूज दिस टाइप ऑफ यार्न डोंट मेक कॉम्प्लिकेटेड स्टिच ओके बिकॉज लुक एट इस कार्डिगन द यार इज परफेक्ट ओके And don't forget, the last stitch is make always here into the chain two at the beginning at the previous row. Okay. And now uh, you make so many rows you need, but how do you know how many rows you need? measure all around the body where the hips are bigger okay so don't matter what size you have measure all around and the result div divide by two in my case my mother is a small person and she has 90 centimeter this 90 centimeter i divide by two and i have 45 centimeter this 45 centimeter will be for the back and for the back I make 15 50 rows but depend for each size look you work horizontal and after you finish, you turn your work to vertical. And here will be where is finished and begin every row. It is the bottom and here it is the uh, top part. After you make so many rows, you need until you obtain the number of centimeter or inch that you obtain after you divide by two. Don't cut the yard because here at, at the top we make a single crochet because we need to join the front side at the back side okay so finish the back and then i will show you how to continue so after you finish the back we make here where begin and finish every row we make single crochet because it is more easy when you join the front side at the back side okay and also this part will be the outside for me and chain one and here it is one row for each row you make two single crochet so one two now the next row also one two into the next row one two into the next row one two so for each row make two single crochet one two okay look it 
very nice and help us when you join the front side at the back side. Finish until here, then cut and hide the yarn. After I finish, I will show you how to continue. Now, after you finish the back and also after you make single crochet here at the top, top part, as I show you, it's time to calculate how many centimeter or inch you need for the front side. For the front side, you need to make two, one for the left, one for the right. Um, and the number of centimeter or inch that you have at the back. In my case, it is 45. And make minus 10 for S and M size. For L, minus 11. For XL, minus 12. For XXL, minus 13, etc. Okay? So, the number of centimeter or inch that you have for the back minus the number of centimeter or inch that I show you. In my case, I make minus 10 and the result is 35. This result you need to divide by 2 and I make 35 divided by 2 is um, 17.5 centimeter. So this result in my case is uh, the number of centimeters that I need for each front side. And I measure in my case 17.5 and in total I have 90 rows and I put a stitch marker after I measure 19 rows and then also I count to here until here 19 rows and into the next stitch I put a stitch marker so I have 19 rows here, 90 rows here. And for the neck line, I have 12 rows. So in total, I have exactly, as I tell you, I have 50 rows, okay? So for the front side, you chain the same number of stitch that you make for the back and make so many rows you need after you calculate and after you finish the front side cut and hide the yarn and then i will show you how to continue i finish one front side and after you cut and hide the yarn uh, Look, for example, in my case, I chose this part to be the outside. So this will be the outside and here it is from inside. And I uh, make single crochet also, as I show you at the back, where begin and finish every row and make a slip knot and insert the crochet into the first row chain one and make two single crochet for the first row okay then For the next row also 
to single crochet for the next row to single crochet okay continue until you finish but don't cut that because after we make single crochet here we join the front side at the back side i finished to make single crochet and now it's time to join the front side at the back side and uh, put the back with the outside up okay and now you put the front side here into the left and into the right sorry and into the left you put the back and we begin to join insert the crochet here into the first single crochet that you make at the front side and then take the back and insert the crochet into the first single crochet that you make at the back and join them with slip stitch then insert the crochet into the next single crochet at the front then into the next single crochet at the back join with slip stitch insert the crochet into the next single crochet at the back then into the next single crochet at the front at the back join with slip stitch single crochet at the front single crochet at the back join with slip stitch i will make some With this technique we join also the slave and also we close the cardigan. See? Very simple and look perfect. Finish to join until here. Add a stitch marker cut and hide the yarn then after you make the second front side you also begin to join at the stitch marker until you finish okay after you finish and also after you join the front side at the back side i will show you how to make the sleeves I finish one sleeve and now I will show you how to make it. You measure all around at the wrist and chain so many stitch you need. After you chain, you make exactly the same stitch double crochet as you make at the back, back and at the front side. So skip two, one, two, into the third, insert the crochet and make double crochet. Into the next stitch, double crochet. Okay, into the next double crochet. Continue until you finish. Then chain two, turn your work and make so many rows until you have around six centimeter. Okay, five, six centimeter work normally. And then I will show you how to continue. I work until I have almost six centimeter and now it's time to increase the increase is make always at the beginning and at the end of the row into the first and into the last stitch uh, every time after 
you increase put a stitch marker at the beginning of the row because uh, at this uh, with this yarn it's almost impossible to see where you make the increase okay and also it's more easy to count the rows who uh, you need to make between every increase and also in my case I make one row increase one row work normally then one row increase then two rows work normally and again one row increase one normally one increase two rows work normally and at the moment because the slave become too large I make one increase two rows normally one increase two rows normally one increase two rows work normally but it's your choice uh, how uh, want to be the slave a little large or not in my case I don't want to be too large and now chain, <coughs> chain two one two, turn your work and into the same stitch make one double crochet in total you will have two because the chain two count as one double crochet so this is the first increase now you continue to make double crochet in every stitch after you make some double crochet you take a stitch marker insert here at the beginning I use yarn for stitch markers it's more easy for me like that okay and now continue to make double crochet until you reach it at the last stitch I work it until I reach it on the last stitch. The last stitch is here with uh, chain 2 at the previous row. And into the last stitch make 2 double crochet. 1 and 2. And the second increase is ready okay so you have one increase at the beginning one increase at the end of the row into the first and into the last stitch and now I repeat after you make the increase make one row work normally at the next row make the increase at the beginning at the end of the row after you make the second increase make two rows work normally then again increase then one row normally increase two rows normally work until you obtain the length if your sleeve become too large you can make one row increase two rows work normally until you obtain the necessary length for your slave after I finish the second slave I will join one slave at the uh, cardigan and then I will show you how to make it I join one slave at the cardigan and also I close the slave 
and also I join in one part the front side at the back side and now uh, I will show you how to join the sleeve sorry take the sleeve and count the number of stitch that you have and divide by two and put a stitch marker exactly in the middle then take your cardigan and put a, also a stitch marker here where you join the front side at the back side and then count the stitch that you have at the sleeve to the left and then also count the same number of stitch that you have here into the left at the cardigan and then also count to the right the same number of stitch and also put a stitch marker okay so from here we begin to join the slave and we finish here And now, before we begin to join the sleeve at the cardigan, uh, we need to make into the right side at the sleeve, we make single crochet. And for every row, we make two single crochet, exactly as I show you when I finish the back, okay? So make a slip knot and insert the crochet into the first row, chain one, sorry, chain one and into the first row make two single crochet. Then into the next row two single crochet the next row two single crochet okay continue until you reach it here at the last row don't cut there because we begin to join the slave I make single crochet as I show you until I reach it here at the top of the sleeve and now we join the sleeve at the cardigan and insert the crochet here into the first stitch at the sleeve and then into the first stitch where you put the stitch marker into the right side and one moment one moment please okay and begin to join as I show you when I join the front side at the back side then into the next stitch at the slave then into the next stitch at the cardigan join with slip stitch one more time into the next stitch at the slave into the next stitch at the cardigan join with slip stitch okay continue to join until you reach it here at the last stitch marker then don't cut there continue to make single crochet into the left side of the sleeve and also make two single crochet for every row as i show you until you reach it here at the bottom of the sleeve 
and also don't cut there because we continue to close the slip okay so work until you reach it here at the bottom at the sleeve and then I will show you how to continue. I finished to join the sleeve at the cardigan and also I make single crochet into the left side at the sleeve and now it's time to close the sleeve. And we join the right side at the left side and you will join with the same stitch that I show you when I join the back uh, at the front and also uh, when you join the sleeve at the cardigan insert the crochet into the first stitch at one side then into the first stitch at the second side join with slip stitch into the next stitch at one part into the next stitch at one part join with slip stitch the next stitch at one part into the next stitch at the second part okay and you one moment you continue to join until you reach it here under arm and then continue to close the cardigan the front at the back okay so until you reach it under arm and continue to join until you reach it here at the bottom of the cardigan and then cut and hide the yarn after I finish to join I will show you how to continue now after you finish to join the slave at the cardigan and also after you close the cardigan into the left and into the right it's time to make the front edge the front edge begin at <coughs> the lower right corner and end at the lower left corner okay and the stitch that i use for the edge front edge is the same stitch double crochet and i will make around five six centimeter why because when we calculate the here at the neckline the necessary space in my case i keep 10 centimeter for the neckline and i divide this 10 centimeter by two and uh, i need to make at least five centimeter but i think uh, I will make more because I want here at the next line if I make more rows uh, will look more beautiful but at this moment I don't know but I leave I make at least uh, five centimeter and we begin at the corner make a slip knot it's exactly the same stitch that you make at the cardigan okay 
insert the crochet here into the first stitch chain two one two and now you continue to make double crochet in every stitch and look at the same time i will hide the yarn okay exactly the same stitch continue until you reach it up uh, the lower left corner then chain two turn your work and continue to make double crochet after i finish the front edge i will show you how to continue i finish the front edge and i make seven rows <clears throat> but as I tell you it's your choice how many rows you make and now the last part of this cardigan is one row who begin and finish into the lower right corner and we make shell stitch okay if you uh, don't like it don't make this last row okay and <coughs> one moment please make a slip knot and insert the crochet into the first stitch the first stitch is here with uh, chain two at the beginning of the row chain one and into the same stitch make one single crochet then skip one into the next stitch make five double crochet and one, two, three, four, and five. Skip one into the next, make one single crochet. As you can see, I hide at the same time the yarn from the back. Skip one and make again into the next stitch five double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip one into the next, make single crochet. And now you continue as I show you. Okay? All around. When you reach it here at the bottom, you don't have stitch, you have rows. And don't forget, for every row, you have two stitch. Okay? And after you finish this last row, I think it will look more beautiful like that. Your cardigan is ready. I hope you like it. If you want to support me, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and bye bye.